Hello everyone, welcome to Mankati Lab. PLA and ABS are the most often used 3D printing materials and most of 3D printers can work with these materials. They are popular, but we notice more and more users want to 3D print high mechanical quality and use parts. PLA and ABS are not suitable for this. It requires high performance or we can say engineering plastics like nylon, PC or carbon fiber. But the problem is that it is not easy for 3D printers to work with this filament. Today I want to introduce you Mankati E180. It can work well with this engineering plastics and I will do some experiment on our m 66 This filament has a great mechanical quality and is capable of tolerating high temperature. Ok, let's do it. Well, before we start the experiment, I want to prove to you Mankati E180's capability to work with nylon and its printing precision. These three models are all the same except one thing. They have different printing layer thicknesses. This one is 0.06 mm, this one is 0.2 mm, and this one is 0.3 mm. You can see clearly that the surface of them are very different. This model is printed in 0.06 mm. It is very detailed and it is hard to find the layer lines on the surface. See? And the quality of inside surface is also very good. This model is printed in 0.3 mm. The layer lines are very obvious. But in the meanwhile, it took a lot less time to print this model than the 0.06 mm model. If you want to print a part used inside of something, it will save you a lot of time to print with 0.3 mm layer thickness. This model is printed in 0.2 mm. Generally, we recommend our customers choose this. You will have a good model surface and spend relatively less time. We have 7 choices of layer thickness from 0.06 mm to 0.3 mm. In Mankati slicing software, we call it M-Ware. Surely you can print in even thinner layer, but it won't improve the surface quality too much. So the experiment starts. Let's test how high the temperature this M966 can tolerate. These two models are made of PLA with 20% infill, and these two models are made of M966 with 20% infill. We don't test the ABS because it smells disgusting in a warm place, and I will put all these models in this heating oven and warm it up to 130 degrees Celsius. Let's see what will happen then. The PLA bridging model starts to collapse very soon. Nylon stays the same. When PLA is totally done, nylon stays the same. Okay, finally, the oven is warmed up to 130 degrees Celsius. And I will leave all this model here for some time. Let's check this PRA block first. Still the same, same shape, but can it survive the weight of this machine? This machine weighs over 50 kilograms. No, it can't. Okay, now check the nylon block. 
if it survives. Actually, this 966 can always work in 130 degrees Celsius and even in 150 degrees Celsius for a short time. Next, I will test the layer bonding forces. These models are 3 mm thick with no infill, and I printed them vertically so it will make it easier to break them. Now, I will test their toughness. These bars are all 3 mm thick with a 30% infill. PRA, not bad. ABS, broken, but not separated. M966, okay. I will curve it to its limits. And see, it can return to its original shape. I hope today's experiments will give you intuitive feeling about M966 and by the way, show you how good this Mankati E183 D printer is. Apart from this 966, Mankati supplies other types of 92, like 912, 9 carbon fiber. Actually, 912 has a better mechanical strength but it is not as good as 966 in high temperature atmosphere. I will make more videos to show you these materials. Thanks for watching.